Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports. Another show, we got the NBA Finals, Game 3 coming up. Um, I want to know exactly who y'all got, what you think, what's going to happen in this game. But we can't say exactly what's going to happen, but I just want to know what's your predictions for these for this game. But before we get started, I would like you to like and subscribe to this podcast. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when Team Sports is uploading new content. Let's get to it. Game 3, Golden State versus Boston. The series is tied 1-1. Who wins Game 3? First two games, Game 1, Boston got I feel that they, uh, their defense was consistent. They were a little bit more focused. And uh, in game two, I think Boston, being that they're young and uh, felt they weren't getting calls, and it doesn't make a difference if whether you was getting them or not, it's how you respond to them. And I believe that they responded the wrong way. They were complaining too much. You can't do that against Golden State. Golden State is, is going to keep playing. They, they, even if <laughs> Draymond will complain to the rest, but at the same time, Draymond is getting back on defense. Draymond is starting the fast break. <laughs> while he's doing the fast break, while he's running back on defense, he's chirping and complaining to the rest. But he never stops playing. I believe that Boston, younger guys, they complain too much. They weren't getting calls. And I and it kind of rattled them. And you can't do that. You're in Golden State. Uh, they're a big third quarter team. And um, the crowd is behind them. And, and then you started turning the ball over for the simple fact that you lost focus. And Yudoka, as a uh, rookie coach, uh, who I really started to believe in, I believe that he's saying exactly to what I'm saying to his young players. And I think that game three was going to go to Boston. That's my, that's that's what I believe. And um, let's see how it go. You tell me, what do you think? That's what I want to say in the comments. Because if you watch the, if you watch these games, if you watch game two, uh, Boston turned the ball over way too much. And to me, that's, I mean, Draymond took it personally. Al Horford scoring 26 points in the first game. And then game two, Donut. You know, <laughs> that's Draymond Green. People don't understand. You know, when people who really know the game, when they, they mention the big three for Golden State, Draymond is always in there. And, and it comes back that he, people say, well, Draymond is not an all star. Draymond. Draymond is the heart and soul of that team. And again, I done said it several times here on this podcast that everything is not based on you scoring 20 or 30 points for me as calling yourself an all-star. Like, let's say Dennis Rodman <laughs> with the Bulls. People don't consider Pippen, Jordan, and Rodman a, a big three, but they are. Um, I'm using that just to come back to let you know that Draymond Green, when he's focused and he's keying on something, he, not only did he guard Al Crawford, but he was also on Jalen Brown. And he flustered him. Why? Because in game one, Draymond, uh, 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 Jalen Brown, in game, in game one, in the third quarter, he carried that team and and led the charge for that comeback and big victory. Draymond take things like that personal, you know? And although I picked, picked Boston, we can't forget Clay Thompson haven't had a great game yet. Although in game two, if you look, some of the shots he hit were timely baskets that led the charge for Golden State to go up big the way they did. It may not have been as many of them, but when he 
when he hit those shots, they were timely buckets. That's what I'm talking because that's Clay. You never cl- count him out. Again, I don't worry about stats. It's about playing the game, and that's how Golden State plays. They play the game. They don't care about their shooting percentages. They don't. All they want to do is win. So we have a great finals going on, and I, I'm not a fan of what we call a diehard fan of neither team, but it's the NBA Finals, and I'm watching. Does it really make me a difference who win? No, it really doesn't. But I like analyzing, seeing the different coaches, and and how and, and how these guys play. Um, game two wasn't a good game from neither one. Golden State didn't shoot well, and I believe that if if Boston wasn't complaining so much concerning the calls from referees, because there was a lot of bad calls in that game, and um, and they they're young. So they can't, that's not an excuse when you are in the NBA Finals for me. So here we go, game three. Who you got? That's what I want to know. And that's what this whole thing is about. I want to know, I want to hear from you guys, who you got before the game start tomorrow. Check in on Team Sports and let me know who you got before the game. And after the game, we're going to discuss it. You guys have a good night. Peace.